dear friends, dear colleagues, dear president. Um, now that I have again the pleasure to welcome you with all my colleagues, uh, we are very glad to, to have this opportunity to exchange views with you again, uh, Mrs. President, because events develop very quickly. On behalf of all my colleagues, I really uh, very sincerely uh, welcome you, and uh, I would like to congratulate you for the uh, uh, wide majority of members that supported our written declaration on Ashraf. Um, I must congratulate you because this written declaration uh, achieved the number of members necessary to be adopted. This written declaration, Mrs. President, is a very strong political signal that we send to the, to the Iraqi authorities and also to the Iranian government, and uh, this written declaration is a clear proof that this House is following very closely events in, in Ashraf. And we hope that this strong political signal will have an effect, a positive effect, to protect our friends, the residents of uh, Ashraf camp. Uh, now, as you all know, dear colleagues, dear friends, the situation in Ashraf is uh, uh, a situation of suffering and, and, and of difficulties. There are severe logistical restrictions. There are medical restrictions in which very seriously ill people are denied treatment. Uh, there are restrictions for a medicine supply and for any kind of goods supply. The residents are tortured psychologically with 140 loud speakers at highest level bombarding them with this noise and this 